both still very much in playoff contention. So but if they scenarios. lose and they get blown out, there's a possibility they will be the eighth team and miss out on the postseason party. Devastating. Devastating for the two owners of this company. Just, oh, I'd be heartbroken for them. But there's a lot more, a lot more riding on this for Pinstripe. Look at Joe's starting this game with confidence. Well, the fact that he's starting this game is quite the story. Joe's McFly has never retired a batter here in Blitzball history. Wow. One inning leagues, team Blitzball, whatever it is, 24 batters he has faced. Never retired a batter. He has to get a minimum of two today. Love you. Let's do it. I love you. Have some fun. Jake Storiali, former league MVP, go, stepping in. Respects handed out. Okay. Now, what would your strategy be with Joe's? How long would you let him go? I would let him go until. Probably the bases are loaded, honestly. Okay. Misfired on a couple. Hey, Jake, make him, make him throw one. I think I'm going to make him throw me a strike. His teammate is Lou Dab. Can't quite see the arm slot change just yet. Well, he's misfired on his first three. Base runners, make him throw one. Waiting, waiting. Lou Dab, a high school teammate of Joe's McFly. He has been ball player and part psychologist as well. Interesting combination with the double gloves. And five wide ones to start the game for McFly. Lead off man on for Baggett. How's that going? Questions already. Give it to Jimmy. Yeah. Come on. Hide back. Hide back. Oh. oh. When I was a young boy, my father took me to the city. If you were with us in the pregame show, you heard us talking about Joe's McFly changing his arm slot to more of a three-quarter arm slot instead of over the head, hoping to get more movement. What we weren't sure about was if it would help his command or not. Six straight balls to start the game. And just all strike, huh? You're right, yep. And I don't see a different arm slot. I still see the same straight over the top. It's not getting... Top, it's not getting any kind of mm -hmm. sink, any kind of tail, any movement into the batter's rule. Well, eight wide ones to start the game for McFly. And I don't know if there's anything Lou Dab can say. This is something that he's going to have to figure out there's himself. Not. He's just going to have to find that zone with one pitch. Oh, my God, I can't. I mean, this is not through lack of practice. He's been over there on the side for three and a half hours trying to get this thing straight. There's nobody that wants this more. You can feel the agony inside the warehouse as back-to-back -back walks have started the game. All right, keep it going. Yeah. Hey, we need runs and a lot. Joe's throws the mid away. Lou Dab will now take over. Make that matter. Well. Hey, hey, we, we have to make that matter. Yeah. No. I mean. And this is a good time for us to check out the Shady Rays standings. Only two of the seven playoff seats have been locked and loaded. Como will be the one seed. Lovius will be the two. After that is a mishmash of 1-1, one 0-1, and 1-0-2 one, oh and one, and one, oh and team. McFlurry Power, the way they get in is to have one of these two teams get blown out. Right. Okay? We'll follow the numbers throughout today's game, but that's the thing. Okay. K-Mac and Stoner, they are saying, we need somebody to lose and just get punched right in the face. Polaxed. Polaxed, perhaps, if you're Australian. So here we go, Lou Dab, former college baseball player. Played a little shortstop in his day. Looks like it. Athletic, moves well, great swing. Mentioned that earlier, Rosie. And, and there's a strike. Look at that. Doesn't miss a beat. This is where they have to step up. This is where Baggage has to step up. They said in the pregame show also, we've got to get runs off Lou. Oh. oh, and two. Wow. That's an even better pitch than the one before. Story Ali doesn't have the same magic working that he did when he was named MVP of Blitzball Battle 1. Sure doesn't. Curve, curve. Oh, oh, a swing and a miss 
a great job by Lou Dab yeah. as we take a look at the shady vision on that one. Just a perfect sequence. Trevor Plouffe somewhere watching this with an erection. A couple of fastballs on the outside corner followed by a beautiful breaking ball that never really looked like a strike. I'll take your word for that first part. Here you go, Jim. So now it's Jimmy against Lou. Nice. Four pitches, four strikes. How you doing? I don't know. I don't know. They said if they don't get runs off Lou, no one else is going to take them serious for the rest of the tournament. Not my swing, yeah. and I keep fucking doing that. Hey. Yeah, I know. Lock it. Lock it. Here you go. Up. Battle. Even if Battle. they do win, they got to score off Lou to put a little bit of pressure on the other guys. There you go. Got a boy, Lou. Dab, a postal carrier in the Bronx. Do they walk with a bag in the Bronx? Oh, yeah, he's got a bag. All right. Where, where do you think he keeps the mail? There's oh. a knock. Ah, Good look job at Jimmy. By Jimmy. He's a competitor, Jimmy. There is no question that the bases are loaded with one down. What was that? Don't know. I think he tried to come over the top with a fastball. A little jam shot. I don't know. He doesn't know. He blacked out. Big opportunity for Story Ali. Another shot, but a foul oh, ball. But barrel to the ball. First time we've seen him make contact, I feel like, in and this game. And umpire Kevin with a great job making the foul call seven <laughs> seconds after it happened. Right? Well, he, hey, he, show, he shows the curve with his knuckles, and it's never been a strike. And another tapper. Oh, oh. shows with the bobble. That is a run. <laughs> And a missed opportunity for McFly. You have to wonder if he is bringing his pitching struggles into the field with him. I think so. I think so. But if I tell you one thing, I saw Joe's taking BP earlier. He's, he can well and truly make up for this with the bat. Good, Good take. take. Yep. I'm with you, Jake. Fuck this shit. We should, honestly, we should give some money to that bases machine over there. It's been working the overtime today. Very, good very take, good. Good take. No question. I think some of the humans are going to have a problem if we start dishing out cash to inanimate objects. Well, it just means you get to pick it up later and go spend it on the rest of us. Good point. Ooh, that good nice. That was a really nice pitch. That was great. Corner great. Good good corner in. Bottom yeah. of the zone. A lot of mutual respect between these two. All right. All right, here we go, Jim. Let's block it, whatever the fuck it is. Great Ball swing. tapped. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like he's toying with us. Yes, there was a bobble, but McFly yeah. catches it before it hits the ground again. What a recovery. That's a clean play and two outs Talk now. about short what memories. The they mention that all the time as a reliever, but as a fielder, you make the next play. That's well done. Nice catch, Pop. Kelsey, did I just see Joe McFly throw away his gloves as well? He just took them he off. He did. He did just take off that glove that he's been wearing. Another tap. And it's going to be. It's going to be. Your oh, oh, nice smart, play by Dad. Smart blitz ball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's a student of the game. I've always said that. Shady Vision gives us another look. How about the English on that ball, Aussie? Unbelievable. Looks like Shane Warne in his heyday. God rest his soul. Absolute bender there. That was sensational stuff. It. So, Team Baggage does get on the board. They have a one nothing lead as we head to the bottom of the first. Ball Battle 3 is presented to you by our friends over at Shady Rays. Right now, they're going to give you the exclusive offer that's only available here during Blitz Ball Battle 3. Use the code word warehouse. You're not only going to save 40% on your next pair of shades, you also receive early access to the limited edition collab pair with Shady Rays launching later this summer. John Boy's going to have a pair. Jake's going to have a pair. That's cool for all of us. They also have the most insane protection in the history of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by what, Moylan? A replacement guarantee. That's right. If you break them, if you lose them, even on day one of ownership, no questions asked. 
they send you another pair. It's beautiful. Head to ShadyRace.com, use the code word WAREHOUSE, 40% off one pair of polarized shades. When you do, you're going to be added to the early access list. Get first dibs on the upcoming collaborative pair between John Boy Media and Shady Rays. Good job. Go ahead, up there. Fucking drop the ball over Sorry, there. Sorry. Let's get it back. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Let's go. Let's go. That's Let's nasty. go. Let's go. Good morning. We got warehouse. Bottom of the first, and it looks like Jake Storiali is going to start on the I mound. He didn't even throw a pitch. Yeah in Team Baggage's opening day loss to the Loveyes. Okay. Right. Thanks. I like this play. I like this play. All right, Jake. We can't let Jimmy face Joe's at this point. He's going to have to do it at some point. Lou Dab hitting the leadoff against the newly Ooh. married Jake Storiali. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful event. Beautiful Jess. Right. Beautiful Jake. Yeah. Go, Jake. Lost a couple of dance competitions, but yeah, other than that, he was solid. I got to tell you, we've talked so much about the pitching struggles of Joseph and Fly. Yeah. Right at him. Right at him, Jake. I think there's a lot of pressure on Team Baggage. They have fallen hard in the power rankings. They sure have. One of the overall favorites to start this whole thing. I'm not sure it's the, if it's the, the outside activities that have drawn them away from the warehouse so much or whether just the natural competition around them has gotten a little bit better. You know, you got guys focusing on weddings, yeah. company transactions. Yeah. You lose your blitz ball battle skill quickly. Oh. Okay. Okay. There you go, baby. The bounce back pitch. There okay. you go. Okay. And, you know, I think that they really – feel the pressure uh, because when we were talking to them pregame they were saying they're gonna have to play really close attention obviously to not only winning but especially the, the scoreboard because they're focused on that seating if they oh. can advance wow did that one hit him in the coconut or more than 60 it did lead off oh. man on for pinstripe strong and Jimmy has called for five a pitching change he would like five balls please Come on, Pop. wow so I wonder if they're gonna alternate here Lock it in. Yeah. I gotta get that run back. The runner gave up. This is a really interesting move, to be honest with you. Because Joe's McFly in his career against Jake Storiali is just one for six. That's a 167 a batting average. But against Jimmy O'Brien, he is six for 11. He is a 545 hitter. So obviously, team baggage either doesn't know about these stats I'm sure that, they know. that Jolly and John gave us, or they're ignoring them. I'm sure they know. I think Jimmy has a plan. I think Jimmy, he's always thinking. And there I think go. Jimmy knows what he's doing. I don't know what that thing is. I'm not sure what the reason would be. We'll have to ask him afterwards. But I'm interested. Where do you want me? I have no idea. I'm throwing fastballs. Okay, I'm gonna go get ahead. Go at them. They've got to be nervous, Rosie. They have to be nervous. The winner of this game guaranteed a spot in the postseason. <laughs> the loser just cannot get blown out. 68. Okay. Velo's good. Velo's good. Might be overthrowing just a touch. Right at that fucking white bubble. Okay, a little bit of tail on that. Good pitch. So you talked about Joe's during BP. He was launching. He was launching. Launching. Balls. There was even some soft toss. Soft, I'm sorry, easy for me to say. Some soft, some soft toss going on. Jimmy ahead, <laughs> one and two. Let's go. Same thing. I mean, you got you got them set up for the split, and if you want to throw one high after, you're there too. So you're good, man. All right, go get them. Beautiful. Okay. Now, do we follow the plan and get a fastball up here? Well, I'll tell you this though. I like Jimmy's tempo better than the other day. He was rushing. Yeah. Oh, scrunch a little. by McFly. Oh, swing at that. Oh. He is yep. down. That's a big Chased pitch. out of the zone. That's a big pitch. He's feeling it. Jimmy's feeling it. Tossing the ball around. That's the old baggage. Ah! 
Ooh, yo. Sorry, audio guys. I'm drunk with a fuckload. He loves that. He loves that the yell yelling. It's a good spot. Yeah, it's a little low, but. Ah! That's a good spot. Wow! Oh, that's a miss. Blue Dab with a two base that's hit. It. We got second and third and one down wow. for McFly. Wow. Just like that. I felt like we were just here. Do you change the pitch mix up? Do you go with a different <sighs> sequence? Do you what are, what are we doing here? So no nice blood. Fucking hit. No blood. Nice hit. Yeah. It was good. Second and third. Go ahead, Joe's again. Should I throw some slider or something first? You can. Do right. you want it first or last? <laughs> That's a bad fucking pitch. I think that might have been the split. He's working on so many new pitches, Jimmy. Go at him, go at him. The 1-0. Ah! Good pitch. Oh, yeah. really good. Good pitch. It's too late now, but when you up in the count, you got to pick a pitch out that you want to lock in on. Huh? Lock in on that one pitch. I mean, right now, Lou's telling him don't chase high. All right. By the way, Jimmy learning that in your mid-30s, your body does not bounce back the way that when you were doing this game in your backyard in Connecticut or wherever the hell he lived. And this is where I say, well, wait till you're 40, and you say, wait till you're 70, right? Go at him. You're an asshole. I mean, really? Is that where we're going now? Just because I pulled up a seat? Two-time back surgery participant here. Fuck, nice take, Joe. Oh, great take. Good eye, Pop. You hey, know what I'm talking about? Pick that pitch up. 50s. 50s. Go get him. Jerk. Why did that fucking white dot chance? Ah! Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love having the players mic'd oh, up. Oh, this is great. He hit me three times. Huh? He hit me three times. So what? He just hit you again? Yeah. So that's a walk, right? That's a walk. Yes, he hit me three times. That was three. So now bases are loaded. Oh, foul. that's a foul oh, ball. Foul. Foul. Just foul. foul. That Good desperation Hello. by Storielli. I hope the shoulder's okay to continue to pitch. He's still going to get two outs. Yep. He looks good. Here you go. You're ahead of him, Jim. You're ahead of him. Ah, that's a stupid pitch. You got to get that, Jim. You didn't do anything here. You got to get that pitch. He looks, he looks real good. Jimmy. Good job, Bob. Jimmy wow. really struggling right now to find that zone. Shit. You're good. 3 1. I think. Give yourself a chance. This is where he gets himself in trouble because he starts playing scenarios in his own head of every pitch. Hey. Great pitch. Great comeback. All right. Have fun. Come on, Lou. Back to ball. Back to ball, Bob. Keep saying this, Rosie, but you want to get him on this pitch. You don't want the pressure of a full count right here. <laughs> Tipped. Oh, tipped, but not into the catcher's mitt. Doesn't matter. What do you throw right here? I'm going with that split down and in, trying to get him to swing. Okay. Hey, that's a great right, pitch. Pop. Good call. Fastball. Went down and in, though. Went down it's a great in. pitch. Let's go. Didn't even look like he was going to swing at it. All right, base is loaded. One out, full count. Oh! Did that hit? Is that a ball? My that goodness. Hit? What did he do there? Oh, they want a replay on this. 70 on the screen. Redo anyway. Redo. That ball hit up and it falls. That's right. That's one. That's one. That's what we got. Go get Joe's. We are tied in the warehouse. Sweet Lou with another knock, and the bases remain loaded with one down for McFly. And you've mentioned it once or twice, there is no chance of a double play. Ball tap, ball tap, and it gets through. Another run for Pinstripe Strong has made it two to one. Jake is throwing himself over this place like an absolute animal. He's gonna get one of those. He's gonna get one of those. Great, great effort, dude. Fuck! You're gonna get one of those. Let's retire the inning. Let's get those five runs. Let's go. 
Get those five runs. He almost caught that. Just desperation. Yeah, he slid on the front side for a long time. I hope they've consummated that wedding. Mix it up. Mix it up. Once again, details I don't need. Another yes! shot. And another oh, rod. Let's go. You want me to go? Keep it going. Okay. Keep it going. Just... Keep it going. Is it tired of the inning? He's trying to play it in his head. Is that four? So we're going to make it another two to make it four to one. It's a mistake, pitch. What's that? That was just a mistake. I mean, I shouldn't. Throw. I want to throw that head for a ball. What do you want to do? Keep me firing. What? Keep firing? Chosen. Yeah. Go get him. Go get him. And this is just where you have to start planting the seed a little bit here. Oh, but we'll do yet. it after this Not frame. Yet. We'll do it after this frame. Hey, adrenaline's pumping. It's firing right now. Team Baggage has got to keep this fifth run off of the board. They have to. Ah, oh, come on, Jimmy. It's like the QB in his first Super Bowl. Now, there is something to keep in mind here, that if a fifth run is played in by Pinstripe Strong, because the inning was never completed, Jake only has to get one out in the next frame if they get that far. Another knock and another run for Pinstripe Strong. They oh end up putting up a five spot in the first and they lead it five to one. Oh but boy. there is still plenty of drama because remember, Joe's McFly has to get two outs in this inning. Oh boy. Huh. We gotta buckle down, we're in it. Yeah. We're in a tough fucking spot here. Every every pitch. I think I was throwing too fast and no movement on it. Trucking, adrenaline. We're fuck, dude. We're fucking in it here. Jake, we got to get on and get over. Think about it like this, Pop. Think about it like this. We're up. We're up. So if they score five, it's six five. Yeah. We're a home team. We bat at. We so that's the worst case scenario. We can win. Pitch comfortable. Let's go. Take take walks. Like this this might be an ugly ugly piece of content for a little bit, but we gotta we gotta get on. We gotta do the whole thing. All right. So Pinstripe Strong has a five one lead now in the top of the second. And as we take a look at the standings, it is very interesting because if the score holds right now, yeah, baggage is going to be out of their own tournament. They will not even make it to the playoffs. They wow. would not be one of the top seven seeds. McFlurry Power would check in as the seventh seed. Wow. So Team Baggage has got to get at least one run to stay alive. And Lou is well aware of the scenario. He just said, worst case scenario, it's gonna be 6-5 and we get a chance to bat again. Pitch comfortable. But the pressure's on Team Baggage. Yeah. Because they need to get on the board or they're gonna be hosting a party and they won't even be invited. There's the new arm angle. What do you think of it? I uh, gotta see a bit more. I like it. Ooh, was that a strike? Did that touch? That was almost a strike. It's close. Is that where we are now with Joe's? He does, he does look way more comfortable than he did, did ah, the last on. inning. I think he's going to go back to the over the top in a minute, but I do think he's trying something new. Come Pitch on, comfortable. Joe. Here it is. Oh, yeah. below hitting speed. That is exactly what that was. That was almost Ephus like. A little bit hotter than that. Just a little bit. <laughs> Baggage needs, all right, look at it from Baggage's standpoint. I know, pressure. Walk, hey, walk, we need base runners. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Joe's is one strike away from getting his first out ever in the warehouse. Come on, Come on. Can he do it against the former league MVP? Oh my god, I'm not sure if I've shit, ever seen son. Jake 
ever more relieved in my life. Good for Joe's. He can laugh a little bit. <laughs> oh, man, what a moment that would have been. Still got plenty of chances to get that moment, though, Joe's. Come on, big boy. <laughs> I mean, goddamn, bro. Like, hey, you get Jimmy to roll over. That's good. <laughs> All right. Just, just, Whatever just you soft. Gotta do. You want me to swing he's or not? I mean, he's just aiming for the zone. You want me to swing or you want me to take? Your call, man. Take toe one? Your call. I would take toe one. All right. Baggage right now with the worst run differential among the eight teams. Oh. They sit at minus seven as we speak. McFlurry Power, one ahead of them at minus six. That's what we're watching right now. Hey, Joe. Not that, Pop, you sped it up. And we're wondering if Joe's McFly can ever get an out in this building. Ooh. Can't even fucking get that. Three up. What would you say to him? I'd say to Joe's? Yeah. Exactly what Lou said. You've got so much to play with. Just get to the point where you're comfortable. There you go, do that a few more times. Swing. Yeah. And it's so slow that they may struggle. <laughs> Shit is crazy. It's attacking, bro. What the fuck, bro? He's talking midway through his delivery. Oh, oh. there it is. He, there it is. He's I mean, way ahead. And by the way, not to put more pressure on the boss, you want to be the guy that's the first out recorded by Joe's McFly? I don't know. He said it's going to be a national embarrassment if he is. So what I've been scared of the whole fucking tournament? That was 44 miles per hour. <laughs> that have hit? I think that was in. Oh, what a, what drama. Oh, oh, another foul. You're still real ahead of it. What? You're real ahead of it. Oh. Real ahead of it, okay. <laughs> hey, yo! Yo! Strike up! What? What did he say? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> An inch away. An inch away. This fucking guy, bro. Hey. It's fucking weird. Joe's has found the slot. He's also found some four letter words. Oh. oh. Now that's troubling. So now a full count. We try to speed it up, that's what you Come on. Jimmy is praying that he gets another one of those that he doesn't have to make a decision on. Oh, did he go? Did he go? Oh, the umpires don't even want to make a call. Shady Vision says. I'm on the end of the lot of these moments in this place. <laughs> place is madness! Security! And look at the bosses what by the themselves hell? in the corner. Joe's, can you What's tell us how? Game? This has been the talk the whole game. How does it feel to finally get that monkey off your back, I mean, get your first out in the warehouse? It feels good. I I'm glad it was Jimmy. Glad it was the boss. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like that's the way it is. Hey. Dude, we, we Yeah. We don't score. Right. If he's still out there and he's throwing that, we can't get to two strikes anymore. Because you just feel the pressure of the crowd. Yeah. Right? So we gotta kinda jump him. Fuck dude. Hit right. a homer. My goodness. 27 straight. The 27th batter Joe's McFly faces is the boss. And a tip of the cap. Yeah. Respect. That is, hey, that's respect. That's Lock all class. Let's hey. go. Two outs away. Let's go. We just got to keep going. You know? Now he's, there's still a right. chance. Now the question is, can he get a second out? That's right. Oh, he's back in there, though. Look at where that is. Great hey, pitch location. If we had live betting right now, how many more outs, or how many more batters face before Joe's gets his second out? That was so stupid. Oh, boy, over under. What would it be? It would, it would have to be, like, 
16 and a half or something, right? Okay. We got 12, we got 16 and a half, 12 and a half. Come on, Jake. Ooh. When you speed it up, that's when it happens. Same rhythm, pop. Same rhythm. Oh! You live there, pop. Just caress the bottom corner. Yeah, shady vision. Hey, attack. Fucking rocket, let's go. And there's a oh. knock by Storiali. Still Jones, let's go. Keep the line moving. Okay. Let's try to go one more. No, we gotta get, we gotta get another out. We got him. All right, here we go. Good take. Wow, that's a really good eye. Pop, relock in, relock in. Pinstripe Strong still very I'm much, in. based on this score, in position to perhaps be in the winner's good take, bracket. Good take. One hit by pitch. I want to swing. There's a lot going on here at stake for both teams. Barrel. If you're in the winner's bracket, it's double elimination. All right, tool count. I think I'm gonna go with a fastball because no, that's kind of like. If you're the eighth team, you're done. You're already eliminated. Jimmy reached out for that one on a 2 0 pitch. Take a step up in the zone. As fast as his 55. That was like an 0 2 emergency hack. Okay, did you hear that? Jake told Jimmy to take a couple steps forward in the box because he's fastest pitch so fast than 55. Interesting. He's out in front of everything. Interesting. Oh, you oh my goodness. Dude, I'm swinging so big. All right. Lock it. Is Jimmy talking to himself? Dude, like, first swing's a batting practice. Oh, what a head case I am. Don't swing so big. Just block it. Just cut it down. And there's a knock. Oh! oh! The misplay oh, no, by Dam has loaded the bases, and it means that Joe McFly has to get another out. He was that close oh my to back to back outs. Oh my goodness, we would have been millionaires. Wow. So base is uh, loaded now. Boom. That was just payback uh, for the ball I dropped. I'm going to get another out. Let me pitch. Oh, look at this, a pitching change. Lou Dab coming back into the game. What do you think of this move? I think he's going to leave Joe's McFly for Jimmy. So here are the situations right now. If Lou Dab gets a guy out and Joe's McFly nails the last one for the win and it remains 5-1, to one, McFlurry Power will be the seventh seed and Baggage will be the eighth seed and will not participate in the postseason. In the meantime, if the score stays the way it is, I'm telling you, Pinstripe Strong still very much in line for the winner's bracket. A lot on the line. Keep your eyes on the zone. You throw more strikes when you look at the zone. Mm. When you look down, that's when you miss down. Okay. Keep your eyes on the zone. All right. Storiali in against Dab. Good take. Okay. You really want to see if Storiali can unlock himself here. Yeah. It's been a few games, hasn't it? He was an extra base hitting machine in Blitzball 1. Hasn't really carried that through. Outside pipe. Nice pitch. That is a pretty pitch, by the way. It doesn't get any more perfect. I mean, that's virtually unhittable. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go, Lou. Hey, barrel it, buddy, barrel it. Barrel it. That was close. That was close, you just said. <laughs> jam. That Whoa, hit. jam. Right, two strikes. He got you with the slider before. Luke can manipulate the baseball. He can have it move down or he can have it move just straight left to right. Jake's in all sorts right now. Got to stay short. Barrel to the baseball. Just and like that. Just knock. like that. Did you see him? Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. That's a former MVP. So Baggage tacks on another run. They are down by three. So right now, they have the same run differential as Mech Flurry Power. Hey. You have to you have to punish them for this. Stand up in the box, wait, 
Dude, first swings of batting practice, like, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Like throwing 48. Just throw the barrel at it. Yeah. It's and goes then, it would, versus then it would go to what? The second tiebreaker? The 18th tiebreaker? A swing off? A what? A swing off, like a home run derby oh, right. type of deal. Of course. I should have came fucking, I don't know why I came off speed there, man. I should have came with the Why same shit. Why are you doing that? Here you go, Jim. Make them come to you. No. Okay. Here you go. No. Hey. Walk the big run, too. So make them come to you. Oh. Here you go. Hey, two. I'm a swing. I'm in the fucking town, always. If it's there. If it's there. It's not there. Fucking me. Come on. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Right. Real. Real. You want me taken? He just said he's taken, so. Four oh. Take. Season on the line. Take. Maybe twice. <laughs> Here you go, Jim. All right, I can't take it. Hey, think oppo. I know. Blue's not over there. Think oppo. All right, I'll swing him. No, okay, one pitch away. Yep, and now it's a 5-3 game. So now Pretty Team good. Baggage, yeah. even if it loses. We got him in a dance right now. Has slid you know? back into the seventh seed, at least for now. Hey, Jake, one more run. Hey. And then if we tie it, we can't let him fucking crush us. <laughs> yes. If you're team baggage, do you just swing and a miss right now so that you're not in danger of losing by more than, by four runs or more? Do you just lose right now? You understand? Yeah, that it has to be a grand slam for them to, because the first run they score after this, if it's... I, I know, but there's possibilities. Yeah. Don't see. We're overthinking it. Okay. We're, we're being. We're turning to Jimmy. Okay. Here. Yeah. That Todd. That's in some oh, cases oh, really good. So close. There you go. Good day. Like in terms of some things, but in some cases really bad. Come on, Bob. Hey, lock it in. Fastball away. Fastball away. All right. So Lou Dab back on the mound. Ah, there you go. It's a little hitch in his hip. Yeah. Comes fast. They got to score a run off Lou. You heard him say it earlier. For them to really bust this open, they have to get a base hit. Woo! That That's a, a perfect boy, pitch. Lou. He can't pull the trigger on that. Where was that, Bob? Don't you want to see Lou get a strikeout so that Joe's has to come back in and do his thing? Uh, oh, oh, another knock! Oh, and another good. run! Oh, okay. okay. Oh, Dab with a valiant effort couldn't corral it, and it is a 5 4 game. Jimmy versus Joe's again. All right. A little more breathing room right now for Team Baggage in terms of securing a playoff no. berth. No warm up, Joe said. Come on, Jim. Joe says, screw the warm up. I'm just throwing. Yep. Maybe I should have. <laughs> We are tied at five. And you can see the confidence starting to grow in baggage a little bit. As they get more bats, they start to swing the bat. But I keep mentioning this. They have to get a base hit off Lou at some point. For other teams to take him serious. They've said it themselves. Worst comes to worst, he's trying to walk it off. Next inning. All right. Swing the bat, Pop. Swing the bat, Pop. Lou Dab. Trying to wiggle out of a jam here. No, he's fine. That ball popped oh. up. Oh! I'm going for everything. You can't feel that off that wall. He's I'm going just for look at him. He's, at, he's after everything. I, I would have like I would have had like ten outs on Jimmy if that was true. All right, let's go, Jake. You good, Lou? Did he go? Did he go? The umpires say yes. What does Shady Vision say? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a strike. Easy one, that one. Yeah, you go past the parallel of the front part of the box, that's a strike. Don't love that. Correct. Not the plate, K-Mac. Ah. Oh, oh, my. The dumpy Joe's, dude. Joe's ass. Two down. Dude, go again. You called it. Anything close, hammer it. Yeah. Hammer it. Yeah. And try it. If it's outside, go the other I'm way. I'm trying. I'm just so ahead of it. All right, here we go. This is the last batter regardless. There are two outs. There are bases loaded. Joe's McFly trying to record a second out of the inning. And he will not do it. Baggage puts up a five spot and has reclaimed the lead. We needed five and we got it. There's two base runners, we almost have to like throw it. I don't know if we have a tiebreaker against McFlurry. We have to yeah. lose by two. Fuck, yo, Lou. Lou, I'm thinking about that drop ball I had in that first inning, Pop. Huh? What in my mind? I know. Sorry. Right. We need PFPs after this, like some shit. Like. By the way, as we continue on in the bottom of the second inning, we have yet to give out any cash. By the way, did we make a big whiff by not giving Joe's McFly some cash for getting Oh, did we ever? Holy crap. Well, how much did we give him? 50 bucks? That's a 50 bucker. 50 bucker. That's a 50 bucker. That's a 50 bucker. It's a 50 bucker. Man, you're going to be talking Australian after this. I know. Here we go. Oh. Good cut, Pop. Yeah. That's a good cut. That's a good cut. It's too long. Yeah? Too long, I mean, three up, three down would be nice too. Wow, that would be interesting. Oh, Ooh, foul! Really? I like the location. Yep. Hey, nice first step. Have fun, BJ. Starting to get a little bit of his pitching mojo back. Something that I thought was lacking in blitzball too, to be honest. Yeah. The 0-2. Oh. Hey, a little too much trickeration there. I learned that in Europe. Oh, Jammed good him nicely. Good location, good pitch, good swing, nice, great fight. Nice. I got him in the mix master a little All bit. All right, have fun. Mix master. You got, a lot, you got a lot of room. A lot of room, Jake. One, two. Is that the Mixmaster Jam? Triple. Oh, Jake! Jake. Oh, oh, one down. And Lou Death. Jake's lateral Jake. quickness nearly Jake. unmatched in this warehouse. Understands the angles better than just about anybody. Yeah, the first yeah. step is unlike, you said it, anyone in this warehouse. So now Joe's McFly. Barring some sort of enormous offensive explosion by Pinstripe Strong, both of these teams will be in the postseason. But McFlurry Power, Colin Stone, K Mac still trying to hold out hope in the crowd. I think I just saw K Mac move for the first time in about 30 minutes. It's very weekend at Bernie's up there in the crowd, there's no question. 91, Jake. Take it all away. Hey, go at him. Take a pitch up. Go at him, Jake. No messing around, Jake. No messing around. Statue mode. 91? That can't be right. There might be something wrong. It said 91 yeah. twice on us. No. I think the six got turned upside down. <laughs> That's what I think. Let's go, Jake. Same spot. He keeps missing in the same exact spot. Somebody should tell him to move same it up a spot. Point. Go at him. Oh, my goodness. 
Wow. Remarkably consistent delivery. Let's get it, Lou! Let's get it, Lou! Okay. Go out. <laughs> you need these strikes here. Jake, we need strikes. We're in out here. All right, Lou Dab with a chance to be a hero. That ball is hit and it falls. It's two, double. Okay. Let's keep the line moving. So we got second and third. Okay. I mean, I'm going to go at Joe's. You have to. And then we'll see. What's that? He's the only way. Actually, you know what? Being a he can four straight balls to you, he might just say, you know what, Joe? Yeah, let me swing. challenge him. Let me challenge him. If, if, he comes if I him, see him. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Jimmy's feeling it. We're all feeling it. Joe's! Wow. Foul wow. ball. Okay. Right on the pop! Work! Lock it in. I think that's it. Huh? Okay, now we're getting to territory. Do we actually intentionally just walk the next two so that they guarantee themselves a spot? That's what Jimmy's probably playing in his head right now. Well, that's one thing you can't do, actually. If you walk two more, then it's 6-6 six, six with the bases loaded. You give up a grand slam, you're out. He may chase high. Yeah. But just don't lose his own. I don't know. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Who am I? I suck. Keep walking them is what I'm saying. Oh, keep well, you could keep walking. That you can do. Yeah. Did you say you were the, the I was the one overthinking it? <laughs> oh, good idea. I like that. Good idea. Three and He's two. Going at him. You gotta go at him. I also feel like you'd be the guy at the pool hall that sets up the ball behind the black ball. Is that a problem? No. Nah. Full count. There is a base open. Going at him. Bases are loaded. So I imagine, is Jimmy going to come in now? Pop! If he hangs it, bang it. Let's go. Let's listen into baggage. You got to walk through. Yeah. Grand Slam, we're eliminated. I know. I mean, just straight pitch around. But then what do we do? Then are we just walking in both of them? Because then, then we're just forfeiting the game. So if we want to do that. Grand Slam, we're eliminated. I know. But what do we know? I mean, forfeit? You walk Lou, it's tied. And then what? I don't they know. They still have outs. So I got to pitch to them. I'm going to throw get balls. Joe's out, and then you, or you, or you walk Joe's accidentally, and we lose by one, and we're not eliminated, or you walk Lou twice, and we forfeit? So I don't know. Home run, we're eliminated. I know. I don't think I'm just going to throw balls. Competitive balls. All right. And it's a fucking twisted spot we're in. Yep. I mean, there's content and then there's strategy, and the best strategy right here. Yeah. It's good content, good strategy. Well, Pete Boylan. Yeah. You know that Jake Storiali's a competitor. I do. It's going to break his heart if he has to throw four wide ones twice in a row. I think what they're going to do is they're just going to try and get, they're going to throw pitches that are, that are nasty, try to get them to offer it something. 
Yeah, but the possibility that Luke Ab can get onto around. something and throw it. I, I know. It's sickening. It's making me there quite ill. There are a few guys in this tournament who get the bat through the zone with more authority than Lou Dab. You're absolutely right. The BP today before this game was absolutely impressive. Huh? I don't think they're going to piss them. They're going to just tie the game and face me? I think so. Huh? I mean, Why? What happens here? I'm going to fucking win because I'm going to hit a fucking ball. What's the plan? I mean, I'm gonna bounce him, bounce him, see if he chases at something. You got anything? <laughs> Strategy-wise, you, you walk Lou, you go at George, you walk Lou. Oh, look at this, Lou Dab with a how you doing? Good job. 72. We we'll take Lou. Ball anyway, right? Yeah. Hey, just no breakers. Just no breakers. Oh. We'll take Lou. We'll Wait. take Lou. He's not going to give him anything to hit, is he? I think, that's, I think that's the plan. Force him to swing at something out of the zone. Let's listen in. I want to make sure you didn't think I said just throw breakers. I said just no breakers. It looks like. I mean, I'm, I'm bouncing everything. Why not? But that's a home run ball if it's up. Oh, more pressure to miss than there is to throw a strike. The take, Pop. 3 0. 3 0. Wait for yours. I'm sick to my fucking stomach. Home <laughs> running, we're eliminated. Or fucking tuck our tail with no pride. Forfeit a close one. Well, I'm going to correct Jimmy. Home run, and they haven't had bat off. So at least it still could be miserable. Yeah. Well, we are tied. So here is the scenario. If Joe's McFly gets a hold of one, Baggage is out, Flurry Power is in. Let's listen in to Baggage. Throw up the floors? Is that the worst thing ever? Pitch to Joe's? I can try it. He hits a double. Double, we're still okay, right? We go to an at bat off. No, he's, he's off. Walk around with that. Should I pitch to him? You think Joe's gonna hit a homer? Could. Blitz ball. Jake! All right. Oh, oh. Jake! Holy oh, shit. So let's help uh, Jimmy out with the math. Grand slam, baggage is out. Double, they lose, but they're in. I want to play again. <laughs> Single, they lose, but they're in. Walk, they lose, but they're in. You figure out what to do. I don't know if Jake's going to throw a strike. All I know is. I want to play again, even if we fucking get smoked in the next game. I want to play again. <laughs> All right. Seven straight non-competitive pitches from Story Ali. This has got to be eating at K-Mac and Colin Stone. And he's, yeah, he's hearing a little bit. Sucks. Oh, straight for the set. No. Oh. Look at Lou. Look at Lou. Lou is absolutely ropeable. Let's go. Lock He's it. absolutely ropeable. He swung at that pitch. Fucking cowardly feeling. One ball away from a pinstripe strong victory, a team baggage loss, but they will still punch their playoff ticket. Oh! oh he challenged him! Oh, he challenged him! That's why they call him Big Balls Jakey. What the fuck are we doing? He 
said, I'm not scared of a Grand Slam. Just let me challenge him. Look at Jimmy. He is sweating beads down there. He can't believe it that he threw him a strike. Oh! He got him! He got him! So now we have to do it all over again against Lou Dab. Uh, what do we do now? <laughs> Fucking jump. Oh, Lord have mercy. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Let's listen to baggage. They don't throw balls. You, you do the, you do the, you, all right. <laughs> Fuck that, Mickey. <laughs> Don't throw it. Oh! Redo. Jake's got the adrenaline absolutely firing. <laughs> is this hell? This is hell. Am I in hell? We're in hell. Am I in hell? You're in hell. Once again, I don't know, dude. He wants to be a hero. Twist up. If Lou Dab hits a grand slam, baggage is out, McClory power is in. Everything else, Baggage would lose the game. If there's a walk, a single, or a double, because there's no triple in the warehouse, they cannot lose by three runs. You want to try here? What? Do you try and go at him at all? I don't know. I don't know either. It's the worst time of my life. Think about it right as you release. They can only lose by one, two, or four. Oh, 72 again, Jake. I'm in hell. You're I'm in purgatory. Embrace it, I guess. Oh, uh, if I had a heart rate monitor on him right now, it would be blowing up. I don't think K-Mac and Colin Stone's heart rate's very high, if you know what I mean. What happens if it's tied? We go extras? Absolutely. Oh, beauty. Keep it there. He's kind of wanted yeah. to swing. I don't think he's going to launch that. Let's go, Lou. Walk it off, Bob. trying to make nasty, nasty pitches, and you can't blame him. People are saying, come on, Jake, but I'll, I don't think he wants to throw a strike. Wow. Oh, he's getting some cat calls. Goodbye. Oh, that's it. That is it. Wow. Sucks. Sucks. So where's time of my life? I want to play another game. So where's time of my life? Shame on you. Wait, what yeah. In their Great own game. warehouse. Huh? Great what game. Happened? Wait, we just won our first game. What what happened? Happened? Wow. We want to play again. I mean, wait, we won our first game? Yeah. Why is no one celebrating? <laughs> no, wait, hold on. We just won our first wait, game. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, yo, what the fuck did he just give up? We just won our first game. Excited with that first W, the they are in the playoffs. Wait, just Did he just won? <laughs> huh? In the meantime, Jimmy and Jake and Team Baggage also head into the bracket. They didn't know. That's hilarious. But boy, do they have some explaining to do in the post-game show, <laughs> which is coming your way right now. That was fucking hard. That was hell. That was hell. That was hell. There's a chance I've died. There's a chance I've died. 